What's good, YouTube? This video is going to be about the no contact rule. Before I start this video, I just want to congratulate a good friend of mine who's finally chasing his dreams after years of doing everything right in the conventional way. After years of building a great life for himself and his family, he's finally chasing his own dreams of getting into the music industry and dropping his own music. Now, it might not be for everybody. It might not be for you. It might be. He's a hip hop artist. He's a producer. So if you're into that type of music, click the link below and check his new album out. You'd be supporting a good man who did the right things and now is finally doing something for him. And you might like his music. So check it out at the link below. Now onto this topic. Now, years ago, I did a video about the no contact rule. Uh, people kept writing me about it. Other popular YouTubers were talking about it. And therefore, my inbox became full of that particular question. That's why the cycle of uh, subject matter usually travels from creator to creator, because people watch one video and beg for that same information from another creator. Uh, even so, when I did the no contact video, I was very specific to mention that no contact needs to only be something that you do or something that you try if you are actually willing to walk away and you are actually walking away. Right. When you really put somebody on ice, when you really are giving somebody a real break, it's because you've decided that you can walk away. You cannot do no contact from a place of desperation or from a place of hope that they change to such a degree that you're not even willing to walk away if the so-called no contact doesn't work. People know when you're bluffing and a lot of times people will call your bluff. One thing that bothers me is when I talk to a client on the phone and she's like, okay, listen, I've been no contact for two weeks. Now what? And I ask her about what led to that, what uh, caused her to walk away or go silent on this person. And it's basically them being played, them being used, them being mistreated and them being dismissed Oftentimes it sounds like they've not gone no contact at all. They've just stopped doing 100% of the work. And they think that because they haven't spoken to that person that they've successfully gone no contact. First of all, I'm not a big fan of the no contact thing because again, a lot of times people are using it to manipulate the behaviors of those who are mistreating them. If you have to manipulate someone into treating you well, then you're probably already losing. There's nothing to be gained. There's nothing to be won if you have to manipulate someone to treat you well. That's why I'm not a big fan of no contact. The only time I'm a fan of no contact is when it happens by accident, when it just happens by nature, when you're just really walking away from somebody and you put them on ice for so long, you've actually forgotten about the relationship. You're actually moving on and then they actually make the changes or the evolutions that you were asking for and requiring when you had to walk away from them to begin with. When a person grows naturally or for themselves, not just to impress you, not just to show remorse, but because they themselves think that they need to change. That's the only time no contact works, but that has to be done from a genuine place, not a place of desperation, not from a place of please change so we can be together because I really want you, but I don't think you want me hard enough or, or bad enough to treat me well. So I'm going to catch an attitude problem and put you on side silent treatment and call it no contact so that you're nicer to me. That's not no contact. That's a temper tantrum. That's a temporary ghosting. That's you trying to manipulate someone and them knowing about it. And so they don't give you anything differently than what they were giving you before. Most of you need to remove no contact from your whole list of tools that you might use to try to get your desired results from a guy because most of you aren't doing it right because it's not something to be done. It's something to be committed to. You need to commit to removing someone who doesn't treat you well from your life. And if you break that commitment, it should only be because that person has changed. They have grown. They have evolved. It's not you doing no contact to, to manipulate them into being better or to convince them that you're worth it or that you're valuable. It's you removing garbage from your life until garbage decides that being garbage isn't enough for you, for them, for anybody. When garbage decides that being garbage hasn't worked out for them, that they haven't gotten the life they want, the results they want, the relationships they want, and then garbage decides to change. Now, if not talking to you, if losing you in their lives was a catalyst to that change, awesome. But that change has to come from them. It has to be genuine. It cannot be you begging for different treatment, therefore catching temper tantrums and going on silent treatment. No contact is not a temper tantrum. It's you literally removing someone from your life from a genuine place. And then the only way they get access to you is if they've made changes for themselves. If you see that evolution at any point, you can say, well, you know what? You seem to be a different person now. You have grown. It's been months. It's been years. Let's do this again. No contact isn't something that can happen over weeks, a few days, a few hours. I'm not talking to someone. 
Too many women I talk to think they've been no contact because they haven't spoken to a guy this week. That's not no contact. That's just a guy ignoring the shit out of you, ignoring him. Most of you need to stop trying to do no contact as a method. No contact is you removing someone from your life and the only way they get access to you is to actually become a different person with evidence to show that, with time, attention, and results to show that evolution. It's not about you winning the last war or argument and then finally giving in. That's not what this can be about. That's not no contact. That's you having a temper tantrum. And most of the time, a man will ignore it. So women think they've been on no contact for a month, six weeks, when a man just doesn't give a damn enough about them to even try to reach out. If somebody is fighting to stay in your life and you're freezing them out, at that point, there's leverage. So that can be considered no contact. Even so, if you had to freeze them out to get the desired results, is it worth it? Most women who do no contact, no contact, have had to do no contact multiple times with the same guy. Because it's not really no contact. They haven't really committed to removing that person from their lives. And that person knows it. That person knows all you have to do is poke at them, flirt with them, apologize, say sorry, be on your best behavior for four or five days, and you can get back into their lives. There's no real fear of losing that person because they know that person doesn't have the leverage of being willing to walk away on their side. They know that person is just having a temper tantrum and they just need to be appeased. They just need to be humored. Pat them on the butt, say sorry, and they'll ultimately let you come back. And they'll be a full use when they come back. Most of the time, the women who have to go no contact are being used and being manipulated by the men they think they're manipulating into treating them better. So using no contact as a tool to get a desired result from a guy without actually being willing to walk away permanently is a waste of time. And is usually something that happens from a place of desperation and not from a place of leverage or power. Some of you need to be really honest with yourself. Have you gone no contact? Have you really kicked that person out of your life? Have you removed them? Have you actually walked away from them? Or are you just having a temper tantrum? The funny thing about it is you both know what the truth is there. So don't waste your time pretending to have self-respect. Get some real self-respect and really walk away from people who are not serving you in your life. Drop this whole no contact crap because it's not a good or healthy methodology. Most people are doing it wrong anyway. Think of it as you cleaning house and removing the trash from your life. Now, if trash decides to change one day down the line, you can reinstate contact if that's what you need to do. If their change is genuine and lasting. Not if they're just sorry. A lot of you do no contact and then you say, well, I have to talk to him one last time just to get closure. And you're hoping to make up with him. You're hoping that he's sorry. You're hoping that... After not talking to you, he's a different person or a different man. Odds are he's not. He's the same. The exact same. Stop trying to have closure conversations after you've gone no contact. I know what that is. They know what that is. And you know what that is. That's you trying to figure out if they're sorry yet. If you have to go no contact with the person, it's a good indication that they are not for you. They're meant for someone else. They're not your soulmate, your twin flame or whatever other stupid ass thing that somebody might justify staying with the wrong person for. If a person acts like trash and treats you like trash, they are trash. Move on. Don't look back. Just move on to people and things that treat you better and give you better results. That's all I got for now. Follow me at Kefik24 on Instagram. I'll get with y'all later.